Before we begin this playthrough of Mother 3, uh, I think it's really important to watch this Japanese TV advertisement for the game uh, when it came out. Uh, so I'm just going to pull this up right here. And, uh, you know, just to kind of set the mood for what we're in for here. <laughs> So, yeah, I wanted to play that because uh, we're in for something that I feel is truly special. Welcome to this Let's Play playthrough, whatever you want to call it, of Mother 3, which is my favorite game of all time. Yes, I'm sorry if you came here and you're expecting a blind playthrough, someone who has no idea what they're in for. Uh, I have... I've played this game a couple times, but it's been about 10 years. Uh, I'm still going to be hit emotionally hard by a lot of things in this game. Uh, so, hey, whether you are a super fan like I am, or you've never seen Mother 3, or somewhere in between, welcome. And I hope you stick through this playthrough, because I've been very excited for this for a very long time. Uh, as we just saw with the commercial, I have a lot of extra things planned, a lot of fun stuff uh, to kind of throw in here and there so uh it's not going to be your typical let's play it's a bit of a a bit of a gazamkunst work if you will uh there will be multiple music theory lessons uh and you know i'm just going to delve into some of the background stuff uh when i can and uh we're all going to have a very good time and a very bad time but mostly a good time we're going to have a good time having a bad time uh, but yeah, this is Mother 3. It came out in 2006 for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, date sounds weird because the DS has been out for a couple years now at this point. Uh, but I believe the game had been in development for quite a long time. In fact, it started development for the Nintendo 64 for the, the, the disc system that I believe... I don't know if it actually ever came out in Japan or if it only came out in Japan. I did forget that detail. Uh, but there's footage of trailers and stuff like, uh, from back then. Uh, but it eventually shifted over to the Game Boy Advance, uh, and it never came out in America. It became a bit of a meme. Reggie, give us Mother 3. We'll dive into that more in another video. Uh, but uh, we got, we were lucky enough to get a very, very good fan translation that came out in 2008, 2009-ish, uh, which is when I played it. And it immediately became, in my opinion, the best game I've ever played. Uh, so I am very, very looking forward to this. Uh, it's 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 a game of paradoxes. It's bright and colorful, but also absurdly dark. Very depressing, yet also one of the funniest games I've ever played. Uh, a, a simplistic, easy enough to follow story, but rooted with deeper, darker themes all throughout. Uh, it's it's a good one. So with all that out the way, I know this is a bit of a long intro, but let us get started. Let's play Mother 3. Let's get started here, and we get a little <clears throat> little intro thing, uh, kind of plugging the fan translation. Uh, thank you very, very much to, uh, I believe it was uh, Tom Otto Tomato, uh, who spearheaded this back in the day. Uh, it's This game literally changed my life. Uh, but let's, let's get to it, shall we? Let this play out and see, uh, see how it goes. Also, please... Uh, let me know how the mix sounds for those of you who are watching live. I'm streaming this live on Twitch, by the way. Uh, so if you're watching this shortly after the video goes up and there's not much left there, uh, I am streaming through this as we go. Uh, but, you know, fairly simple title screen, just a little ambient music, which might be a little loud. Crank that down just a hair. Uh, and let's start up new game. No cutscenes or anything. But as is typical with the other games in the Mother series we get to name some characters. Uh, unlike Earthbound though, we're not naming the entire party right now. We are starting off naming a family. And just like with Earthbound and whatnot, if you just hit the don't care button, you kind of get their default names. You can name them whatever, but hey, we're going to the defaults here. The younger twin brother, a gentle boy named Lucas. The older twin brother, an energetic boy, Klaus, which if you'll notice is an anagram of Lucas. Same letters in both names, different order. The strong, kind, and dependable father. I know my camera's covering a little bit of the game. This is the best place to put it, in my opinion. I do want the camera here, though. Anyway, <clears throat> the strong, kind, and dependable father. Flint. 
the beloved mother, the titular mother of Mother 3, Hinawa. The brave and smart dog, the best boy, Jupiter. Yeah, you know, I should name it Jupiter, but no, we're going with Boney. Favorite homemade food, omelets. Not steak, get that steak out of here, give me omelets. And this, this one I think is important. What's your favorite thing? Love. And you'll you'll see why I think it's really important as we go on. And I love that we get the characters like interacting with each other in the background throughout all this as well. Uh, text speed, we are going fast. All right. Let's vote here. I kind of like, Mint looks a little too bright, actually. Grape, peanut, or plain? I think I'm gonna go with plain, actually. Yeah. Everything looks good to me. Uh, I'm not here, though. What is happening? Okay, it fixed itself. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. A little bit, of, little bit of an overture for the game. Don't worry, it just, it just had to work out some kinks before starting the game proper. Nowhere Islands. So you might also remember, I played Earthbound. It ended with Porky getting away after, you know, you defeat Gygus. We're gonna pick right up there, right? Absolutely not. Completely different setting, completely different everything for this game. Tasmalee Village. And yeah, just to go back to that ad real quick, uh, just the fact that that commercial had no gameplay, nothing about the game other than just this lady kind of talking about it, saying like, yeah, it broke my heart. I wasn't expecting to cry so much. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. It's a really interesting ad to kind of not tell you anything about it other than you're going to get emotionally invested. And I'm really hoping you will, dear viewer. Home of Alec, Hinawa's father. Note that we don't name Alec. Yeah, I will say, the game does start with a knock on the door, just like Earthbound did. There's our boy. Lucas, how long are you gonna sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The Dragos bought their babies over. They're really cute. Hurry up. Huh? Huh? Eh, look at Lucas in his little jammies. Cute kid. Just like in Earthbound, let's uh, let's try to go outside before we change. You playing to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Yeah, we'll listen to Hanawa. And there we get the Lucas fit. Also, I, I love the detail that the mirror works. Look, you can see his little reflection. It does exactly what he does. What do you have to say, mother? You're much manlier now. Go have fun! Thanks, mom. Ah, this song. This song is, I believe, titled Mom's Hometown. Uh, and the melody is fairly important. Uh, it's, a, it's a tune we'll hear kind of throughout the game in different contexts. Uh, in fact, music plays a, a huge portion of this game. Uh, it plays a very, very big role, uh, which will make itself known as soon as we start get, getting into battles. Uh, by the way, how does the mix sound? We sounded good over here? Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Moo. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. It'd be handy to remember that. Thanks, cow. What the pig next to me says worries me. I don't want to be around anymore. Don't worry about it. Sure. Uh, this song was, I believe, in Smash as well, uh, where it was titled uh, The Mother 3 Love Theme, I believe. 
There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. Okay. I love... Add this to the list of things I love. Also, another thing I love, the frogs. But I just love that this game had a completely different way to tell you this isn't the way you're supposed to go. Just please don't step on the ants. A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That is what people refer to as saving. Now then, save your game. There we go. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I will. Well, there's the Drago he was talking about. Cute bastards, ain't they? <sighs> Ooh, I'm beat. I've been play fighting with Dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Yeah. Try ramming into a Drago. Klaus, Lucas doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Lucas, try to imagine a thing called a, a B button. And then hold that B button for a second and let go. Doing this will let you dash. By using this dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Klaus, show him an example. Ah! I love it. I love it so much. Just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. Alright, so, unlike in Earthbound, you can actually dash in this game. You'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. Thanks for the advice, Grandpa. Anyway, yeah, unlike in Earthbound, you can actually dash. You just kind of... Oh, you can run into Klaus. I don't know if I've ever done this. Your ram attacks don't work on me, Lucas. <laughs> Is that all you got, boy? You whippersnappers still have a long ways to go till you can get the best of me. Anyway, let's ram into the Drago. <laughs> Oh, that's it. This Drago baby was born just recently. This Drago is friendlier than it appears. Yeah, I love the art style. Yeah, the colors, it's just so bright and colorful. You're a weakling now, but I just know that someday you'll be stronger than anyone else. <laughs> the harder you run into them, the more the Dragos like it. Uh -oh, move it. Out of the way! Make way for the great mole cricket! I don't want to ram the baby. No? Look at the Drago looking at the mole cricket. I just can't sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you! Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! Well, here comes our first fight. You encounter the mole cricket. Okay. So one thing to note about the uh, the fighting in this game, uh, it's rhythm based. You perform combos if you tap the button to the beat. Unfortunately, it doesn't work too well with the emulator, uh, and it is a little difficult. Apparently, it's much easier, much smoother on an actual console. I'm gonna try my best. Don't yell at me if I'm bad at it. I'm gonna try. See, none. I don't even know if you can in this one. I'm assuming you can. There we go. Three hits. So, the hits do get weaker as you go. But, uh... Oh, didn't matter. We got him. Take that, Mole Cricket. Lucas and company earn two experience points. Fuck it. Oh, hey! Out tonight, but I'm excited for this playthrough, and I will be VOD watching. 
Hope you're doing well, Mr. Tallman. I am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, hey, and hey, hope you're excited for the uh, for the playthrough, because I sure am. Mm, I see you've more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Yo, I just beat your ass. I don't need training. Next time you meet, it'll be the big mole cricket hole stadium. I'll look forward to seeing you there. Bro. Fuck out of here. Did I, not, I think Hinawa stepped on him. <laughs> I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's all right. It's not. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite, boys. Omelets. Lunch, lunch, omelets. I fucking love omelets. You too, Dad. Now then. You, the player. Listen, folks. Here's how to save. Talk to frogs. That's how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving's absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Thanks, Alec. Wait for me! You save me some omelets too, I hope! Please! I love omelets so much too! MA tutorial over. Just about. What's your favorite food, Mom? Uh, omelets, duh! Oh? Omelets? Then your favorite is the same as ours? Oh, we make a good match! After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Favorite omelet filling. You know, I love a good mushroom. I don't need too much meat. Like, if it's a veggie omelet, I want mushrooms in there. If it's one with meat in it, I still want mushrooms in there. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. <laughs> Question for the comments in the chat. Favorite omelet filling? Ooh, chorizo sounds really good. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as darling and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I'd forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmalee Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. With mushrooms and chorizo. With love, your dearest Hinawa. Another theme we'll hear a lot throughout the game. I do like also in my headphones, it panned from right to left as it kind of like went down the screen that way. Or I guess in the camera it went like that way. Mother 3. By the way, also just logistically behind the scenes for this game, a Game Boy Advance cartridge could hold up to 32 megabytes of data this game used all 32 megabytes. This is a full ass cartridge. And it's uh it's honestly kind of incredible for a Game Boy Advance game. Like I'd be really curious to see what they could have done with it on the DS or something like that, but at the same time I don't really think it needed to be on the DS. Well, 
Sunshine Forest isn't as sunshiny as we expected, huh? Ah, oh, this theme. Once again, hearing themes in different contexts throughout this entire ass game, it's awesome. There they are. I'll talk more about them later. Because, you know, knowing this game and everything, like, I don't want to put too much info out there for you, dear viewer. Yo, this, this kind of thrashes, though. It's kind of heavy. Chapter 1. Night of the Funeral. And also, big surprise, but you might have thought Lucas was the main character of this game. But actually... Flint, Flint, Flint! It's a fire! A fire! A fire! The Sunshine Forest is on fire in a huge, fiery, flamey fire! We get to play as Flint for Chapter 1. There's a lot of different protagonists throughout the game. So, surprise! Uh, but what I do like, and we'll come to notice as the game goes on, every protagonist is a silent protagonist. So Flint will speak when we're not playing as him as the main character. Lucas will speak when we're not playing as him as the main character. But whoever, like, the main character is for the chapter is that stereotypical silent protagonist. And I kind of love this game for that. I mean, I love this game for a lot of reasons, but that's just one aspect that I just absolutely love. You gotta do something quick, Flint! It's the forest! The forest! The forest! The forest is on fire! Jeez! Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! Oh! The doorknob! Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Well, there goes the doorknob. Ah, uh, doorknob! Uh, uh, Flint! This is no time to be dozing off! Even though it's nighttime, it's no time to be dozing off! There's a huge fire in the Sunshine Forest! And Bodhi just goes back to sleep. Bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you. Please come I can't do that. I can't do the Thomas voice anymore. It's too annoying. Please! No! Yes. Come on, reckless nice guy, right? Thomas joined your party. The best party member? Absolutely not. I'll follow behind you. <laughs> What's so wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people. And I love just the little him fixing his hat. Boney, what do you have to say about all this? He's hiding something inside his doghouse. Flint got a stick! Hey, Flint! That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just holding onto it will make, make it as useful as a caramel. Honestly, though, in Earthbound, PSI caramels were pretty damn useful. Anyway, our first actual weapon of the game. A stick. And everyone can run. Also, I love, you know, walking animation for Thomas right here, but his running animation is still his, like, kind of Sonic the Hedgehog Roadrunner legs going kind of animation. Check it. Oh, frog. Absolutely. Talk to every frog. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I will, Mr. Frog. Or Mrs. Frog. It's a very good running animation. Ah, oh, Flint! I have the same voice as Thomas! Oh. The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke. Uh, by the way, as much as I love achievement hunting, uh, I am not doing this on retro achievements. It would, it would probably take this down from favorite game of all time for me if I had felt like I had to master the set. Sunshine Force is on fire, so uh, 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 should I maybe give you a hand too? Yeah, Jackie. Oh! Wait. I'm actually pretty busy, you know? Uh, no, I mean, no. You know how it is. Sorry. 
I'll leave everything to you today, Flint. Sure. Uh, and another thing I love about this game, add this, this is like the fifth thing I love about this game. Uh, but every character is named and has a distinct personality. Uh, and different, even different noises for the text going by. Like hers is much higher pitched, being, you know, a younger girl. If the forest catches fire, Klaus and Lucas and Hinawa will be stuck out there. Ooh, this lady looks like the uh, annoying party lady from Earthbound. Mr. Flint, you should probably take whatever Thomas says with a grain of salt. That's just the kind of person he is. They're saying the Sunshine Forest is on fire. If that's true, we better get our butts out of here before the fire engulfs our village, too. I can't come up with distinct voices for everybody. Thomas, what are you running around acting like a siren for? Honestly, now. You better not cause too much trouble for Flint. Oh, the map-loving and map-owning Mapson. Yes. Got a Tasmalee map. You're worried about Lighter Shack deep in the Sunshine Forest, yes? I've marked that area on the map for you. Thanks, map-loving and map-owning Mapson. Please hurry and see if he needs help. Whoops, silly me. Forgot to tell you how to check your map, didn't I? To check the map, you need to... How do I put this? Fill your index finger with a wish, or strength. To put it more bluntly, I guess do something R button-ish? I love these descriptions, by the way. Anyway, here's our map. That's Alex's house, way up there at the top. Way out of town, actually. Anyway, there's I'm sure there's a lot of people we can actually talk to outside the way. Gotta talk to every frog, right? Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I will, good frog. You know, you're outside of town. Flint, the Sunshine Forest, which is to the west of Cross Road and past the Prayer Sanctuary, is apparently on fire like crazy. Oh, sorry, that sounded so explanation-like. Thanks, buddy. Mr. Flint, if you lose your way, be sure to check signposts and message boards. Check something awful before you leave. I'm telling you this out of the kindness of my heart, just so you know. South, Tasmanian Village. West, Reddit. North, Sunset Cemetery. Well, with this chapter title, somebody's going to be going there. Flint got a nut. Anyway, uh, this guy is very, very tall. Hey, leader. Can you see the fire from there? Hey, I said. Not as non-talkative as ever. Uh... Hey, tall man. Chirp, chirp. Sparrow advice. For this little bit, I'm going to use game lingo rather than comparisons. You can bring up the menu by pressing start. Starting from the left, the menu options are goods, equip, status, and sleep. At present, you can use the control pad to select one of those four. By choosing a menu option and pressing the A button, you find out all sorts of things you might want to know. Anyway, this is just game tutorial stuff, not super important. Nope. A sparrow flew in game lingo is pretty raro, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I mean, rare. <laughs> this time I'll be sparrow like for sure and chirp, chirp, chirp. Thank you, kind sparrow. Hey! Even if I did go on ahead, I just know I'd be no help at all. What should I do? Bud. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Quit pushing that. Quit it, seriously, stop. Keep pushing that and I'll be sick. Why do you keep pushing it? See, you did it again. If you keep this up, I'm gonna... Blech. Just so you know, if something bad happens to me, it's all because you kept pressing that stupid thing. What, the A button? The flames started coming our way, so we ran here with all our might. But old lighter and little fuel are still stuck in the forest. Okay. May the forest and the people and the animals and I all have happiness. Amen. Oh, Flint. Good to see you here. I think it's only proper to offer a prayer here before going into the forest. Sure. Please answer with a calm mind. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing the game. Don't care. Where's my don't care button? Uh...
this, to the best of my knowledge, doesn't have as many ramifications as it did in Earthbound. But that's my name. Understood. Tallman. Your name is Tallman, correct? Please continue to enjoy the game. After I count down from three, you will forget you were ever asked this question. Three, two, one. Forgotten what? Good. So gotta talk to every frog. I'm sure that's an achievement on Retro Achievements, is talk to every frog in the game. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I will, good frog. It's a big emergency. Ed won't let me through. I can be useful too, you know? Flynn, thank heavens you're here. These fuckers can't handle anything. I need you. I think Lighter and Fuel are still stuck inside the forest. Don't worry, I'll hold back these rubber neckers. You just hurry and find them. Anyway, into the forest. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. <laughs> Smoke is terrible, and with my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further. So you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. It's oatmeal raisin. Ugh. Flint got a nut cookie. Oh. A dirty nut cookie. Ooh, our first fight. Batman! Anyway, Mr. Batty definitely has the Batman theme as his, uh, as his thing. Thomas is wiping the sweat from his forehead. Once again, cannot combo. Here's another Mr. Batty. Like I said, you are not allowed to make fun of me if I can't combo well. I got one combo there. It did not matter. Well, before I do that, don't mind if I do. Oh. Let's equip that. Should be other. I also love that he already came with a hat as equipment. Because just look at him. My man can't not wear a hat. Where could Isaac be? Oh, not after him. It's lighter and fuel I care about. Anyway, here's another kind of recurring motif of this game. Hot Springs. These, there were a couple in Earthbound as well. You can just hop in the hop in the hot spring and have yourself a good time. Uh, there's more spare advice. Peace at any price. Not saying that's how you are. I think if you keep running away from everything now, later on when you have to fight, you'll have a really tough time because you lack experience. Always running off will only lead to... Always running off will only lead to regret. Oh, it's a haiku! My young disciple. Please keep this in mind. Now to end this with a sparrow like chirp. Thanks for the haiku, sparrow. Anyway, resting in a hot spring uh, fully recovers your uh, your health. I believe we're down in the 50s. I think I might know what I have to do for the uh, the beat on this one. Hey, we got some nut bread. Nice. Is that Bronson? Oh, Flint. <coughs> I breathe in too much smoke. I should have never smoke that shit, man. Lighter and his son Fuel still aren't back yet. I'm pretty sure they're stuck inside the forest. <coughs> Don't worry about me. And now we have active flames here. Uh, by the way, there are a couple rare mobs to get. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay.
Damn. Flame retard and clothes? A metal box-like object is lying here. Oh, boy. Anyway, yeah, that's a monster. So, uh, you can walk through the flames. A yam monster. Didn't matter. Just when I think, okay, let me try this for the beat, it, it does not matter. You can also sneak up on enemies from behind, but I guess I didn't there. So yeah, so you can see that getting extra hits does do more damage, but whereas my first hit was like 16, my second hit was three or something like that. So it really only attacks on chip damage, which can be important. Hey, first level up. Let's go. Oh, we got in from behind. So most, if not all enemies have a behind sprite as well. And just like in Earthbound, uh, they have to waste a turn not doing anything if you get in on them behind. Except, you know, they actually have a from behind sprite, which is nice. More nut bread. Ah, not that time. I did take some damage though. Let me guess. Yep, not bread. I feel like I should, uh... Oh, nice. It actually tells you what your max is. Unlike, I don't think Earthbound ever did, so you kind of had to guess. Just like, oh, I think I need to use uh, Life Up Beta. You've never seen a bug like this before. Lighter! Hey, Lighter! You all right? No, I'm dead! Flint! Oh, and Thomas! Damn it! <coughs> I try to beat these things up, but more just keep coming. I can't get past them! <coughs> Yo, can I take his stick? We know Flint uses sticks. That big 2x4 might help, to be honest. What is that thing? A bug? <coughs> I don't know. They're going around the forest, lighting fires. Never mind that, fuel's still at home. Fuel's still in your shack. Flint, go help fuel. I'll look after lighter. Not because I'm afraid or anything. Oh, hey, I can. Lighter's lumber. If you're going to use that lumber as a weapon, be sure to equip it first. Yep. Nice. Let's see what this is. Offense plus six. Oh, but our speed goes way down. But that, I don't think that matters as much. I'll take strength over speed any day. He said more of them keep coming, right? Fireflies. Great name. Oh. Well, they go down quickly, at least. That time the combo mattered. See, that time it didn't. At least I one-shotted one of them. Yay! Four hits. That's that's my record now. We're going to see how high I can get by the end of the game. Inside the present, more nut bread. We love nut bread here, folks. Sticks in the hat. Love it. Hey, frog in a barrel. I really recommend you save now, will you? Won't you reconsider? I'm almost willing to save without your permission. That's how serious I am. Uh, I am gonna save. I just want to uh, heal up just a, just a hair. I'm gonna nut bread X2. That's, oh wait, I, I can just nut. 
and only waste one HP. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I will, kind frog. Die. Okay. I, I'm wondering if I can run past here to get something. The game does that sometimes. Oh, there's fuel. The game does that sometimes. Oh, boy. That's a big one. You could probably bust it open by ramming into it. Also, gameplay with... Uh, Uh, gameplay with plot ramifications. We had to use our charge attack. A flying mouse suddenly attacked. Mice don't fly. That's weird. Ooh, a smash. Oh boy, he got a smash too. Okay, got there. Nice. Nice. Also, this game does use the uh, rolling rolling health and uh, PP, like Earthbound did, which is nice. It doesn't come into play too often now, early game, just as it did in Earthbound, but, uh, you know, it will. Bust through. Mr. Flint! You took fuel into your care. I love that it's not join the party. It's we are helping this boy not die. <laughs> no problem here. Everything is fine. Let's get the fuck out. There goes their house, or their shack, as they called it. That was a two-story shack. That's not a shack. Ah! I'm pitch black and covered in soot, but I'm alive. Oh, you're pitch black too, Mr. Flint. Thank you, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Thank you so much, so much, Mr. Flint. Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Oh yeah, we need to let my dad know I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. The house is completely collapsed. I'm so glad, I'm so glad I didn't say no problem here. Big problem here, actually. Anyway, we already talked to that frog. We're not gonna bother saving there. I think we're gonna be okay. I think that's the same one I snuck up on before. Oh, at least this kid's actually attacking through a rock. I tried. More nut bread. We love the, we love the nut bread, don't we? Sometimes I walk and then I remember I can run. Wait, isn't that the way back? Or is it over here? Sometimes games have forest-looking exits. Anyway. Uh, here's a detail that I really enjoy. If you go in the hot spring while you're uh, covered in soot, we'll just use this to heal real quick. Uh, now your whole body's cleaned off except for your face, which was not in the hot spring. Very nice touch. Don't care about y'all, I'm looking for this kid's dad. Looking for his pa. Dad! That voice. Is that you, Fuel? You're all right. What the? 
What in the world happened to you? You're pitch black and covered in soot. What about you, Dad? You busted your leg. Oh, this, this ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist it like so, then do this, and then... Oh, concern it! Moth, what in the world are you doing? Fix my injuries, obviously. What does it look like? Anyways, we sure are lucky Flint showed up when he did. Yeah, he and Lighter have always been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. Thanks, Flint. Guess I showed my not-so-tough side, huh? I owe you one for today. I think that could be the first time I've ever heard the boss thank anyone. <laughs> You're right! The only thing that could make this any stranger if it suddenly started pouring rain. Cue the rain. If you didn't hop in the hot spring before. And now it's starting to rain. Also, great animation there on the, the soot washing off of their face. If you didn't hop in the hot spring before, you get cleaned off here. Let's just hope this rain puts out the fire. We need to tend to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. How are we liking this so far, chat? Good game, huh? There you are, Flint. You're all patched up now. It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light injuries. Yeah, I just got... <laughs> nothing a little nut bread can't fix. It's been a while since Tasmanly last had rain. Flint, please go get some nice rest. This rain looks like it won't be letting up for a while. Also, I love that these two are named Bud and Lou after Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Helping others out, being helped by others, helping others out. How do you like it, Flint? Was that another haiku? Helping others out, being helped by others. Being helped by others. That's six syllables. Helping others out. I don't like it. It's incorrect. Isaac said he was going into the mountains to pick mushrooms. I hope he's all right. When are Hinawa and the others coming back? With the forest like it is now, won't the way back be dangerous? Looks like my dad wasn't hurt as bad as we thought. Mr. Flint, thank you so much. Flint, did you see anything else in the fire besides those weird bugs? I'm talking about some... Suspicious people with pig-like masks on. Those bastards. They turned the forest pitch black. And you, Flint. You wound up pitch black, too. You should get some rest now, Dad. Come on, Grandpa. Let's go to bed. You were pitch black, too, Fuel. Sounds like the end of Wizard of Oz. And you were there. And you were there. And you were pitch black. And you were pitch black. Bye. My husband is such a wimp. He was a nervous wreck during the fire. Worried more about him than the fire. Cheers to this rain for putting out the fire. You didn't come with me. I'm not talking to you. <laughs>